We're back with the FDA officially giving Elon Musk's Neuralink the go-ahead to implant its brain chip in a second patient. This approval reportedly comes, though, with some adjustments, including an important update from the first implant. News Nation's Brooke Schaefer is on the story and uh, joins us now. All right. Um, boy, this is fascinating stuff. What are we learning, Brooke? Yeah, really incredible stuff here, Connell. Earlier this month, Neuralink said that some tiny wires that had been implanted in their patient's brain had pulled out of position. So now the Wall Street Journal reporting that Neuralink is planning to implant those ultra-thin wires a little bit deeper into the patient's brain. Neuralink didn't say whether it had any adverse health effects on their patient or if it stopped collecting data. But they're definitely looking into that as Neuralink also looks to expand its testing. The company now planning to implant its brain chip device on a second patient after getting FDA clearance to do so, according to reports. The company owned by Elon Musk says that their brain chip will give paralyzed patients the ability to control their computers and mobile devices with their thoughts. Musk saying that in the long term, this technology could give people the ability to use their arms normally, even potentially walk again. We talked to a quadriplegic named Paul Landino. He was injured in a hit and run crash 16 years ago. He says this technology is a glimmer of hope for not only him, but for others who may have even more severe disabilities. Well, I didn't think it would be available in my lifetime. The fact that my, my limitations are not as bad as other individuals who are full quads that are stuck in a wheelchair, have to use puffers to move their chair around, and basically cannot do anything except move their head, breathe, and keep their heart beating. Those are the individuals that really need to have this up front. So Neuralink reportedly expects to implant this device on a second person in June, potentially up to 10 people this year. So far, more than 1,000 people have signed up for its patient registry, Connell. Wow. Now, uh, I know tonight here at News Nation, we have this chance to hear from the first patient, the first Neuralink uh, patient uh, on Cuomo, which should be fascinating. What can we expect, do you know? Yeah, Connell, an exclusive live interview with News Nation's Chris Cuomo tonight. Uh, you're going to get the chance to hear from that first person to have one of these Neuralink brain chips inserted in their brain. In March, Connell, I know you showed this video on your show of Noland Arbaugh. He's playing chess, moving the pieces on the board on his computer just by thinking about it. So tonight, Chris Cuomo is going to check in with that 30-year-old patient, see how he's doing about five months after getting this brain chip inserted. Going to be a really fascinating interview. Again, an exclusive first live interview tonight on Cuomo. Yeah, Connell? I remember. You're right. We did play it. I couldn't believe it when we played that so many times, you know, what, what it was. But, uh, yeah, I'll be watching tonight. All right. Uh, thank you, Brooke, Brooke Schaefer. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.